In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best plays out of the Cincinnati Bunch, and it is the play Flood, and we're going to be talking about why this is the best play in Madden every single year because I think it's the simplest play in Madden, and it's also a play that allows you really two key ways to flood zones, which we're going to show you why it's so good in this game. Uh, so let's get out on the field. Bunch offset. The play is flood. You can also find this play in our Indianapolis Colts offensive ebook. Uh, I've got two bunches that I really uh, love this year, Washington and Indianapolis. If you want to get access to both of those ebooks, we also have a West Coast bunch ebook, and we're working right now on our Cincinnati bunch. We just released our Cincinnati tight slots. Anyway, bottom line is if you want to get all of those ebooks, um, you get everything by becoming a member. It's only $10 to become a member uh, over at our Patreon page. The link is down in the description if you want to check that out. Uh, we post over there a lot, over 25 different offensive and defensive ebooks so far this season, and we're dropping brand new ebooks every single week. So thanks for watching and uh, check out the Patreon. Let's take a look at this play flood. All right, so why is this play so good? Number one reason why it's so good is because the stock routes on it are super effective. You only really need to make one hot route, and this becomes one of the best plays in the game. If you make two hot routes, it's actually even better. If you have slot apprentice and you put a corner route on this slot receiver, that slot apprentice corner, generally speaking, is always one of the better corner routes in the game. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put our running back on an out route. So again, just simple slot apprentice. You can do everything with slot apprentice. In Flood, you also have this really good flat route to the tight end. And what this flat route is going to do against main coverage is they're going to create a natural pick, a natural rub, and you see that we're going to be able to attack the flat really, really, really well. Now, another thing that's going to happen is a lot of people like to press. Um, if they don't have safety help and they want to press you, uh, occasionally this deep fade can burn press man to man coverage. You see right here, um, they actually bumped into each other, which is not great. Uh, you could also just streak him and make that a little bit cleaner. Uh, but anyway, the bottom line is most people know by now you have to have safety help on the bunch side. It's really hard to play if you don't. And that leads me to Christian Kirk's route, this corner route. Um, as you see right here, he's going to light up and you're going to throw it, and oftentimes it's going to beat man coverage. It's going to beat man coverage, and that's going to, again, it's going to, again, mean different adjustments, how they're going to defend it. Um, a lot of people, what they like to do lately is back off this bunch side corner, which is going to help the play even more. Um, and so what you're going to see is we're just going to get a cleaner separation. You're not going to get that bumping animation. And you see there, Christian Kirk is going to get open. Hopefully, we can actually catch the pass. I don't know why he turned his head that way. Uh, you know, but Madden 23 is is what it is. So, anyway. So, again, you know, just super simple. Uh, you can leave the out route. We're going to talk about that in just a second. But I do like to start with the corner if possible um, because it does get you it does get you better separation against man and it also attacks kind of a, di a different portion uh, of the field against zone all right so anyway now we're going to talk about zone and why i'm standing on the right hash mark if it's man coverage it doesn't matter uh zone coverage it does matter what hash mark you're on all right so let's say that it's zone coverage, and let's say that they're playing, you're playing like somebody that runs dollar, baseline press, and they're putting thirds out there or whatever. If you run this play um, with this out route, you're going to see that that route is very consistent against zone, um, especially if they don't have like a 20, if they don't have a cloud flat or curl flat zone, any kind of default zone, right? If they're setting zone drops, Flood stock is the best play in the game. If they're not setting zone drops and they're playing a little bit more basic and you try to flood the zone on the left side with the corner route, what you're going to notice here is because of the grid system that Madden is built on, you can't throw that. That's going to be a pick every single time. All right. But in, and again, because Madden's built on a grid system. Now, if I motion out that outside receiver, I can do that, but you know what? We don't want to do that, right? Uh, we want to be able to attack from this just simple alignment here. So um, there's there's advantages and disadvantages to motion out, especially as it pertains to corner routes, because of where Julian Edelman is at on the field. That's actually a big deal. So uh, the point is, if I put this to the short side of the field now, and we're in the same exact concept, you're going to see that that corner route is not going to react 
to or that corner on the outside, typically speaking, is not going to react to the the route to Christian Kirk. And again, you might want to restreak Julian Edelman just so that he doesn't do that little fin thing because then he can throw it just like that. All right. Now another way to run the same play. Another way to run the same play, and this is what makes Bunch so good, is there's so many variations. If they're really keying in on the slot receiver, what I like to do is streak Christian Kirk and corner route Julian Edelman. And you're going to see this, too, is really good. As you can see right here, you're just going to ag it so that the KO doesn't light up. And you see that we can attack it that way. So what this causes is it causes one of two things. Um, they're either going to play match coverage against you or they're going to start to play this zone drop style coverage. Match coverage, you're going to solve them both with the same answer. Um, so what mat, or what zone drop coverage is going to basically entail is they're going to have two flat zones that are short flats and they're going to have two flat zones that are deep flats, which will take away corner routes. So if I try to run this same concept that worked against zone before, you're going to see now that 30-yard cloud is going to get back there especially if they have him backed off. So what we're going to do is we are going to run the play like this. And this right here is really good um, against, against that, that cover two style. So what you're going to see now is that tight end flat is going to suck that hard flat down, and you can throw that out route at about 15-yard depth in a real nice soft spot against the coverage. The other thing that you have is, let's say that the user is consistently going to go guard that corner route or that deep out route. This is where your flat on the left is going to pull the flat out, and then you can check down to that 15, 10, 15 yard dig route. Super valuable route combination this year. Super, super valuable. Um, another thing for fun, if you have high route master, you can put the tight end on the on the route, uh, and you could run it like this. Uh, I think this is actually really good against zone because that streak is going to clear out the zone a little faster for you, and then you can check it down to your tight end just like that. Flood is one of the best plays year in and year out. I'm going to show it to you against match coverage real quick uh, because I do want you to see why it's so good against match coverage. But this play is super versatile. That's what makes it so good, um, especially if you have the ability to create different you know, slot apprentice or something. That helps this play a lot. Uh, because against match coverage, they match is not equipped to handle that deep out route unless you have a KO. Um, if if they're KOing you like that, all you got to do is motion this guy out. Like if, you can also mix this in. This is basically turning flood into sail, and you're going to see that rounded out route is really going to do a nice job of attacking match coverage. Give you about 15 yard dot against match. This play is so good, guys. Um, you could literally run this play all game long and um, and do a lot with it. We're going to show you another concept from it tomorrow. But flood is the best. It's one of the best plays in the game year in and year out. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire uh, ebook on the Cincinnati uh, playbook, make sure that you join the Patreon. Ten dollars will get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks.